little side trip now that's this fuel pump project. Could have replaced it. Uh, one available there on the internet. But th this, this was a, a really bad, that's a really bad casting right there. Uh, machining is, uh, I don't think there's no two distances that are in line with each other. But to the point where uh, I done already ground on that and ground on that and ground on that. And this is what we've ended up with. Observing. Right there, that... <clears throat> This area right here, that's where the fuel line to the mixer would be attached. So keep an eye on that part. And this, I have a dowel up here in the mechanism that will uh, mimic the roller cam here to uh, activate the plunger. And this right here, this part here and this part here is, is it's not in factory uh, specifications at all. So when, when, when whoever built the, whoever the initial builder of this fuel pump was, I, I don't know that. And, and there's good parts on it here. It's the sum of the total. It's what they started with. If they'd have started with a good casting and machine a mounting surface and then went from there, I, I think they would have had a very good item. So, this is where the fuel comes out. I have a I have a reservoir over there coming in this way. So this is the results of all of this grinding and 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 this is the results of uh, where we're at now. Subject to change immediately, I would think. With ever, with ever stroke of that plunger, a small amount of fuel is pumped up. The way this works, that plunger is a displacement cylinder. A dis not cylinder, solid. It's a displacer. Displaces the area and the volume of that fuel pump there. When that comes up, it sucks. This check ball here can't come down because it's on seat. So this check valve that's in the bottom of this tube, there's a ball right in there. And uh, so when you, when you press down on that, this ball is checked on seat, so it pushes it up past this check ball out to the mixer. Okay, on the return stroke, when it comes back up, it sucks fuel out of the res out of the gas tank through here, up through that check ball, and fill that little mount right there, the displacement of the volume, ready for the next stroke. And with all advice that I can give anyone on my YouTube channel page is you can't get too much oil on these engines. So every time that you start this engine, I'd recommend any of them. Give that fuel pump plunger uh, a shot of oil. Give it too much oil. Oil the center pivot point right there. Anywhere that there's two moving anywhere. Anywhere there's two moving circ two moving as in even to the point 
of these ears right here uh, occasionally would benefit from oil. Total loss system. There's no oil in this engine. All goes to the ground. But observing that fuel pump, it was on standby right there, just waiting. Very smooth. Let's get that on that engine. Yesterday, about sundown, I went on ahead and put that fuel pump on there. I made up a new line there, quarter H on that size. Made up another one coming out of the top of the fur to the mixer, three eighths on that one. But this thing's sat, oh, I pumped some fuel through it yesterday. It's late in the evening again, day after. It's sat here a day and a night. So, we'll just see if, uh, how many strokes on that plunger there. I'm just going to put a wood dowel. Give her a couple of plungers. See how many it takes to produce fuel coming out of that fitting right there. Yeah, seems like it's testing tune evening over on the back road. I done already took that uh, fitting off of there. And uh, uh, we'll pump her up and see what we get. Okay, a fuel come out of that with two, one, at first it was a slip off, uh, two pumps on that plunger, but as you can see, we got fuel, let's put that line on there, hook it up.